Yo, look at this f***ing phone. Uh, no, no, I said folding phone. Well, there goes my paycheck. Last week I got a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and holy sh**, everywhere I go people are like, what is that thing? And I'm like, whoa guys, I mean, this is a great phone and all, but I also have a great personality and you don't have to wait for me to wield a folding phone to start a conversation. I mean, you can just come up and say hi anytime. And then they kind of leave, but I digress. Just like with any cool new toy, I've had my honeymoon period with this bad boy and now that it's over, I still think it's an amazing piece of technology, don't get me wrong, but I'm also left with the question, why would anyone spend $1,000 on this rather than something like this? We'll get to that in just a sec, but first, spec time. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 has a 6.7 inch foldable dynamic AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2640 pixels and a 120 hertz refresh rate. The main camera system features a 12 megapixel f1.8 wide and a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera. It has a 3300 milliamp hour battery and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G chipset. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. But you know what else has flagship specs? This. Plus, this phone has a more durable display, better battery life, a better camera system, and it's pretty much the same price, that is, if you go to Samsung. You can get it for much less if you look elsewhere. So, why would anyone get a folding phone? Opinion time. I follow a lot of tech personalities on the internet and I'm always left in awe every time I watch one of their what's in my bag videos in which they reveal how they always carry at least one Android phone, one iPhone, a tablet, a laptop and God knows what else. And I always feel like even for the savviest of tech savvy people, it is very hard to justify having all those devices all at once. I mean, I would consider myself to be quite the tech geek and I personally have a phone which I use for the usual stuff like calls, texting, YouTube, etc. And I also have a desktop PC which I use for productivity and gaming. A lot of people I know have a phone and a laptop for work. Heck, a lot of people just have a phone. And if you ask me, that group of people is where the biggest prospect for folding phones lies. Let's talk convertible devices. Over the years, some manufacturers have tried hard to put an equal sign between tablets and laptops, and with varying degrees of success. However, because operating systems for these two types of devices are so fundamentally different, they're not always the greatest substitute for one another. But when it comes to smartphones and tablets, you could argue that the software requirements for what we do on those devices are pretty much the same. The obstacles for creating convertible devices are pretty much all in the hardware department. I mean, how do you possibly get something in the form of a phone to grow and become a usable tablet? Well, apparently this is how. Well, maybe not exactly this, but definitely this. There just might be a future in which this technology becomes so affordable and so much more durable that a certain group of people say, why wouldn't I get two devices not only in the form of one, but for the price of one? If I don't feel comfortable spending a bunch of money on a tablet just so I can have a slightly better experience while watching a movie or a video, I can just get a folding phone, flip it open, and there you go. But in order for this potential to become a reality, Manufacturers are going to have to do one of two things. Either somehow lower the price to somewhere around $500 or keep the price around the $1,000 mark but give these phones the full flagship treatment. Now, the Z Fold pretty much already has that treatment but with this price, uh, I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna happen. In fact, screw that second opinion. I'm gonna risk my good name and reputation here with a hot take. If manufacturers are going to have any future success in occupying a substantial portion of the market with folding phones, it's going to have to be in the mid-range category. Anyone who has an actual necessity for a tablet and can afford one is going to want to put their money on the safest bet and that means something that is proven to be durable and that can serve them for several years. And I'm sorry but as things currently stand, that's not going to be something like a Z Fold. That means that the best way of getting a lot of people to buy one of these devices is to lower the price and target people who don't really need a tablet but can practically get one for free when they buy a folding phone. A number of popular tech reviewers will categorically tell you folding phones are the future. 
But as it often goes, there is a bit of a gap between what the influencers say and how the average consumers actually feel. I recently asked you guys to share what you thought about folding phones. Here are some of your comments. Folding phones are the future, but if the future means so much more disposable, unrepairable tech. I believe there are a lot of flaws with foldable phones that totally outweigh their benefits. They're cool and amazing, but currently they have a lot of problems. High pricing, many compromises, less durable and harder to repair. Foldable phones are pretty neat. In my opinion, they still have a long way to go, but they're definitely better than they were a few years ago. Personally, I think that folding phones can have a future, but not necessarily in any iPhone-esque way. I don't think it's very likely that they'll render the form factor that came before them obsolete. However, I do think that they can become their own type of thing. When the Galaxy Note first came out, many people doubted that anyone would want to use it, mostly because of its size. And look how things turn out with that. And that is what I think about f***ing phones. Oh, come on, I said folding.